Up next, area and perimeter word problems. Tom wants new carpeting for his bedroom. His room is nine meters by seven meters rectangle. How much carpeting does he need? So first off, we can eliminate 16 meters right away. 16 meters is not an area. It has to be a square meter. Nine by seven. And it's, it's kind of a big hint that when we actually write nine by seven, like, like in an official manner, we say nine by seven or four by four or two by four or whatever. The by is represented as an X and that's because it means multiplication. It is the area of a rectangle, which is the same thing as multiplication. Nine times seven is 63. So Tom is going to need 63 square meters of carpet for his bedroom. A construction company is starting to build a new house. They need to put tape around the site to begin. If they're putting it around the site, get sort of try to lean on the idea that perimeter means all the way around so that when your student hears words like around the site, there can be an automatic switch in their head that goes, oh, if you say around the site, you're probably talking about perimeter. Not necessarily, but that's the assumption we're going to start with. And uh, in this case, it will end up working out. And um, we are going to draw a diagram again. It's a rectangle. Shut up, my rectangles are perfect. And it is, let's see, 20 meters wide by 40 meters long. And it says, though, that the company already has another 100 meters of tape. They are throwing an extra level of complexity into this problem. It is no longer just find the perimeter. The perimeter is 40 plus 20 is 80 times 2 is 160. And I bet one of the answers, I just bet, yeah, oh, it's not. 80. Oh, no, because it's 120. My, my counting was wrong. The perimeter is 120, but that's not the answer to the problem. And that is sort of going to come up a lot going forward. The company already has 100 meters of tape. So we're going to take that perimeter and we're going to take away the 100 that they already have. They don't need to buy that 100 feet. They've already got it. And this is very important because this is new, this is novel. And we are trying to teach students to be able to cope with new situations. They should be able to read this problem and go, oh, it's the perimeter thing again, but now I have to subtract 100. Even though this is a problem that we haven't seen before, um, the whole point of Common Core is to try to give students the tools to be able to look at a problem that is somewhat different than the problems that they already have and be able to apply the tools that they have to that problem. I think the answer is 20. Unless I actually counted wrong again. I didn't. Sally is building a garden. She plans to build a rectangular garden um, measuring six meters by three meters. So let's go ahead and make another one of those. Six meters by three meters. She wants to put a net over the top to keep the birds out. She has 12 square meters. Aha, uh -huh, there's a hint again. 12 square meters of netting in her garage. We're talking about square meters. That means we are talking about area not perimeter. Again, using these kind of code words is important to developing a sense of how to get started on solving problems because the answer to how to take the first step, the answer to how to get started, which is something so many students have a hard time with, is usually in the wording of the problem. Usually. Something in there is going to give you a hint. Um, so the area of this is six by three. which that's the wrong place to write that. 
6 by 3, which is 18 square meters. We are also allowed to say meters squared because it turns out that when we say squared, we mean squared. But she already has 12, so we're going to take away 12, and we're going to duck and say 6 square meters is our total that we need, or that Sally needs. All good? This is why I keep saying that language and math are so interlocked and interwoven. Um, because that was mostly a reading comprehension problem. You need to be able to read the problem and understand what you're supposed to do before you can take any meaningful mathematical steps. Very important. Kristen has to run around a rectangular soccer field. I'm drawing it already. Draw a diagram. Do it. Do it. Do it. 60 meters long by 45 meters wide. That makes this 60 and this 45. Is that visible? It is. It's not great, but it's visible. And he just has to run around it once. I've been tricked by problems like that before. If it said, does he run around twice or three times, you got to remember that multiplication. It's the kind of thing that Khan Academy pulls now and then. But it does say on the problem that we are only going around it once. 60 and 60 is 120. 45 and 45 is 90. 90 and 120 is 210 meters. No problem. Quiz two, can't earn me any more percentages. So I'm going to start skipping quizzes. No, I still need to. I was thinking about skipping quizzes, but review problems are always good. So let's just go ahead and get through it. Uh, Betty wants to find, or wants to find uh, one side of her kitchen, and that's 18 meters. That's a length. One side is a length. All of the sides is a perimeter, and the square space, hat square space, is not a sponsor, um, in the air, er, is, is the area. And in fact, you can talk about it like an area rug or the area of the floor. Tomlin is removing wallpaper. The wallpaper covers five meters by four meters. How much wallpaper? Well, wallpaper is, is calculated in square meters, Five times four is 20 square meters. Do they have the same area, perimeter, or both? Well, let's see. Six times four is 24. Eight times three is also 24, so they at least have the same area. Let's look at perimeter. 12 and 12 is 24. Eight, nine, 10, 11 is 22, so they only have the same area. Steph needs to help her parents put a fence around their pool. So a fence around the pool, again, there's that word around. Around probably means perimeter. They want the fence to be square. Each side is six meters. Six times four there, or then is 24. They already have 10 meters, so 24 minus 10 is 14 meters. Again, I'm kind of blitzing through the quizzes. I think you've got the point by now. Same area, same perimeter, or both. 28 and 18, they clearly do not have the same area. Uh, 9, 18, 20, 22, 7, 11 times 2 is 22. They do have the same perimeter. They do not have the same area. That's quiz 2. 